okay good day guys you're welcome to another tutorial with me and today we'll be taking on foundation designs with product structure part two and in this um particular tutorial i'll be taking you through how to have your raft foundation how to make your raft foundation with prota in a very easy and simple way yes okay so in case you're just um joining my channel for the first time i am joshua the designer i create amazing content in structural engineering and um, as touching engineering designs at large and um, i would like that you you use the like button you subscribe to this channel and you as well share together um these videos and many more to your friends and colleagues um and this um, will somewhat help encourage us to do more and to supply uh, more in our capacities to you guys um thank you very much so um this model that you are viewing that you are seeing currently on your screen is such that we've been using in the last two or three tutorials and i showed out to you how to model a three-story building and also i showed to you how to um, analyze your, your building the product structure and i showed out to you how to have your pad foundation with product structure so today i'll be showing to you how to have your rough foundation with product structure in a simple step so i want you to go ahead with me okay so um i'll show you my plan for this particular project so and um if you do not forget i told you that story oo represent your foundation floor where you're going to have your foundation okay so the first thing i'm to do here is to provide my foundation beams also known as the ground beams and um, this one also will since you are the structural engineer and there will be a specification or a recommendation for the depth and for the width of your ground beam so uh, i want to use 1.2 meters deep um, beam and a 2 to 5 mm wide beam okay so then i begin to insert all these beams as you can see just this way and this and this okay And this so you insert as much as possible that you need on your foundation but usually on the, using a raft foundation you don't have to have excess beams but i'm using this to, as a tutorial to teach you how to run the analysis so your beams should not be necessarily too much it doesn't make sense when it gets too too much on your yes because as you're designing you're also working with economy as you're working with safety you're also considering the cost okay so we have the beams now already so now i can have my slabs now i select slab then i want to use the 200 mm thick slab and um, the side can be bigger and the concrete cover i want to make them 50. then the reduced level because i'm using a one one meter one point two meters beam so then i want to have a reduced level of this so then i insert my my slabs slab insert your slabs accordingly so when you're done with this then we can insert our slab strip okay so let me show you what you've just done um, on the 3d so that you'll be able to reason along with what i'm doing yes so this is what we have now now the reason why you're seeing your raft foundation 
extending beyond the area of your structure is very simple. Now, if you have a larger area of your raft system, it's going to cause your bearing pressure, that is the bearing pressure that um, is going to be, your slabs and your beam is going to be subjected onto will be lesser compared to um, having the raft system just at the area of your building. It's just simple as that. So, the, I could do it that way to, to have my raft system just the area of my building. But because of this particular project, uh, we have a three-story building and um, the load, the load chase down, the total load on the raft system um, could not accommodate that raft system within the area. It's um, actually to give you a lot of errors and you have to find a way out of it. So I decided to extend my raft system a little so that it can actually accommodate it. So we get back to business and we'll just insert our slab strips. So this is my slab, slab strips. But now you're working with every strip. Now this is Y axis. So I begin to do that Y axis. Don't forget to hold down your control key so that you can have a perfectly straight line. And this and this then this now we go to the exercise and this and this and this and this then this now that we have our fe strips completely now the next thing to do is very simple so we go to our analysis now you see this fe raft foundation analysis that is what we need then you click it then you see this so we are going to run the raft foundation mesh and analysis okay so let's go so you give it a lot of a little time for it to process your result and um, we generate the model So when we're done, we can close this. So until this cancels out and it forms, uh, it approves the analysis. Okay, so we'll wait for that. Okay, so to confirm, can you see it has changed? So for the post analysis and, um, and report, we can run the analysis post processing. So having the analysis post processing, that is where we have the major job. So we have to just pay attention here. This is where we have the major job. And I will have you pay attention. So when you get here, you can just uh, click on draw slab strip. So when I click on draw slab strip, I have something like this. So also you click on user defined contours. So, because you want to be the engineer on what you are doing. So, you select the ASD one button. Then you edit controls. Now, what you just did here is such that it's going to show to you the area of steel required for this particular um, um, uh, strip. This direction, rather. Okay, so... Because I've already worked on this, that is why you are seeing Y16 at 150. Yes, but normally it's going to show you the maximum area of steel required for that direction or in that direction. So this is maximum area of steel, 1264.92. So I'm to provide against this ma uh, maximum area of steel. So then I come here, I begin to manipulate my spacing to see if I will find some... some um, a spacing greater than that maximum so i found one which is 134.41 y16 at 150 so i press ok that's fine for that on the second direction i click on asd2 bottom then i did contour then i see this maximum 1115.56 so by the time i put 116 at 150 i have the value already 1340.41 so 
and I told you the reason why I have it here already because I already worked on this. If it were to be a fresh one, you begin to toggle um, your spacing and your reinforcement size to have something greater than that. Yes, and you can go ahead with it. Okay, so we do for ASD one top also. We edit control. This maximum is 923.24. So, and that's why we have Y16 at 200 because that is 1000 1005.31 which is greater than this so we can press ok that's fine so on this add, um, direction 2 for the top still we edit control also we have the maximum area of still to be 881.91 so we have to provide against that and providing y16 at 200 just gives us that above the maximum so we can press ok so that's fine so after you're done with all these things you can just export your files exporting your contours transfers um, the solution you just provided into into your model now we can close these things so then we transfer slab strip fe analysis result to our model so we wait for the results now depending on the speed of your system and um, how heavy the project is so that's that's how you how fast you have your your result so if you have a lot of strip so note that it's going to give you you're going to wait a lot of time yes if you have a very large project it's going to be, take a lot of time and if your system is actually fast you're going to have it so so don't panic that it's taking this um, this long so don't don't panic so you're about to get out of the stage okay so like i said number one principle remains that be the engineer over any project that you you are having so we are done just just here okay oh sorry i didn't tell you that here if your allow allowable stress is less than this for your as a recommendation please use it i personally i apply 100 for this tutorial but you can apply whatever it is that suits um, the recommendation that you have so i can transfer foundation beam result so my my um, foundation beam result have been transferred just now okay so i can close it so once i close this i can come here and update my steel bars so that i can have my reinforcement arranged well into this model okay so it's currently ongoing so it takes a little time then we have a result okay and i in case you you do not get any of these steps so clear you can always use the comment section and i would be just there to attend to you on any issue yes so that's it so in a little moment we will we'll be having our reinforcement or steel bars position just right here yeah so do well to like and subscribe this um, to this channel and also share with your friends that you get better so that it can really encourage us to to dish out more videos for you so now we have our steel bars here fixed intact so we have our steel bars y12 at 150 at 250 at 150 250 at 150 at 250 at 150 and yeah that's what we have here we want to have at 125 over 250 so we have that so we have everything that we need here correct so for the beam for the raft beam you can come to your concrete designs to show you the result of your foundation beams so you see foundation beams so you have all your beams here shown to you but you see that the design status is not um, approved 
so you click the first one to to correct what is in there so that you'll be able to have something to work with so you see all is there okay so with all this the as minimum for the for the top you see for this top bar we'll need okay so all of this is actually all right so let's see okay you see it passed already so immediately you open it Orion um, product structure gives you what you need to to pass yes so the same thing we do for all other beams and we have it all spelled out so the same way you go about all of these things so because of our time and that you'll be able to have more time to practice this that I've shown to you I'll just leave you to this video watch over and over again so to have your results as I've shown you in this video like I said any questions any comments should be directed towards the comment section and I'll be there just to answer you thank you very much um, okay so let me just be done with this right here so that we can move on okay just three more then we'll be cool Okay, one more, then we are done. Okay, we have it now. So, all is correct now. Now we have our raft foundation done accurately. Very correct. So, this is how we run our raft foundation on product structure thank you very much guys for joining if you need other videos on product structure you can check through the channel i have a lot of them and i'll be releasing a lot of them too so stay connected subscribe use the notification bell so as to get a notification as soon as i drop new videos thank you very much bye